A way to make up for a loss making position is our short and trailing stop short feature. It's an exciting feature for traders that are looking for an alternative for their traditional stop loss. To start, let me first explain a bit about shorting. Shorting is the practice of making a profit while the price of an asset goes down. Our way of shorting is a bit different than traditional shorting. Our shorting is more like a buyback function. When you expect a position to make a significant loss, you initiate a short, and your bot will sell the position. When you think the price has reached its bottom, you consolidate your short and directly buy back the position. Shorting can be done both automatically and manually. Manual shorting can be initiated by directly selecting a position and select short positions. Crypto Hopper will then sell your BTC, reserve these funds, and track the position in your shorting tab. You can then set up a buyback price, indicating at what price you want to buy back the asset. It will then always be monitoring the price change, and if it hits your chosen buyback price, your hopper will automatically repurchase it. Manual shorting is the easy part, but we're algorithmic traders, so it's in our nature to automate as much as we can. To do this, we need to understand the configurations. This is also where you could use the trailing stop short, a great tool to automate your shorting. Like a trailing stop buy and the trailing stop loss, the trailing stop shorts keeps tracking the price so it helps you close the short when the price rises again. To enable a trailing stop short, simply go to your base config, select shorting settings, enable automatic shorting, and finally enable trailing stop short. Next up, we need to configure when our hopper is going to start to short automatically and when it's going to close it. To do that, we use the trailing stop short percentage and arm trailing stop short at settings. The trailing stop short percentage determines how much a price should rise again to close the short. For this example, we will fill in 1.5%. The arm trailing stop short at determines when your hopper should start shorting. So how much loss should a position have before it starts shorting automatically? For now, we will leave this at 3%. These are just example percentages. Try to tweak these settings yourself until you find the right percentages for yourself. That's it. For more videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And as always, happy hopping!